when a single white woman adopted a black baby boy. She was ridiculed and received a lot of hate and negative comments. However, 20 years later, her adopted son repaid her in the most kind and beautiful of ways. Mary was a compassionate and kind-hearted woman. She was well loved by everyone in her small town and she would always go out of her way to help anyone in need. Mary had many friends and a fantastic social life in which she was able to have plenty of fun. But she always felt there was something lacking in her life and that a piece of her was missing. You see, she had never been able to have a family of her own. Sadly, nature had decided that she was unable to conceive a baby and as such, no man had ever stuck around. Even though Mary tried to cover up her hurts and pain, it was still a terrible and devastating thing. Eventually though, she decided that she wanted to make a change. Mary couldn't naturally conceive, but there was one thing that she could still do, adopt. So one day, she decided to adopt a beautiful black baby boy named Jacob. Jacob was a small boy, only one and a half years old. He had a big cheeky smile and lovely brown curly hair. He was perfect and he finally gave Mary that sense of wholeness that she so desperately wanted. The staff at the adoption agency kept constantly checking if Jacob really was the child that Mary wanted to adopt. He was black, you see, born of an African mother who had died. But Mary didn't care. She just saw a beautiful young boy who was in need, a child that she could look after and love forever. Mary was thrilled to bring Jacob into her loving home and she started to raise the young boy as if he was her own child. To her, Jacob was the answer to her prayers, her dream finally coming true. And for several weeks, they just stayed at home, getting to know one another and becoming comfortable in each other's company. They really did bond and become extremely close over this time period. But as they ventured outside, they found themselves facing prejudiced and ignorant comments from some narrow-minded individuals in the town. You see, not everyone was so supportive of Mary, a white woman having a black baby. As she would walk through the village, some people would stare or even point, whispering things to each other and judging the poor young boy based on the color of his skin. They did not understand why any white person would want a baby that was that color. But Mary tried to ignore it. The whispers and the prejudice didn't matter to her because she loved Jacob with all her heart. Despite the initial shock and heartache, Mary vowed to protect her son from the harsh realities of the world and she resolved to help him build a strong foundation of self-confidence. She would not let him be pulled down by shallow, narrow-minded people who were quick to judge someone solely based on nothing more than the color of their skin. She wanted her son to grow up resilient and strong. One day, while taking a walk, Mary noticed a basketball court near their home. Reflecting on her own love for sports, she encouraged Jacob to give it a try. He was five by that point, and a brave and experimental young boy that was willing to give anything a go. Eager to please his mother, he picked up the basketball that was sitting next to the court and gave it a few bounces. Mary believed that sports could do two things, keep him fit and healthy, and channel his emotions into something that could one day become a career. Luckily, Jacob really took a shine to the sport. And as he grew, he began playing basketball every day after school. He found solace on the court. There, there was no racism, no hurtful words, no insults. There was only basketball. He could lose himself in what he was doing. And as he did so, he got better and better. And of course, Mary was always there, joining him whenever she could, playing alongside her son and supporting him wholeheartedly. Years started to pass and Jacob became bigger, taller and more mature. The more he played basketball, the more his natural talent started to reveal itself. He was undoubtedly a natural and his skill was unrivaled by any of his peers. Word of his immense skill started making its way around and even those who had once laughed, pointed and made racist remarks began to take notice. They certainly weren't laughing anymore. Playing in school games, he dominated the matches and helped his team achieve an unrivaled winning streak. The quality of his playing was far above than of anyone else on the school courts. And it was clear to all that watched him that he was a basketball prodigy. The opposing team players would cower and feel the wind being taken from their sails when they saw who they would be up against. 
But Jacob would have been the first to admit that none of what he had achieved so far in life would have been possible without the support of his mother, Mary. She had been his rock, as well as his guiding light. She had shown him that anything was possible, and that if he had the strength and power to believe that he could do something, then he really could. Without her, he would never have gotten this far, but things were about to go meteoric. You see, a renowned basketball coach had heard whispers about the incredibly gifted Jacob and decided to attend one of his games. He watched the boy play and move and out with the other players, and to say that he was impressed would be an understatement. The coach approached Mary and Jacob after the game, offering the boy the opportunity to play for a prestigious basketball team after graduating from high school. This was far beyond anything that Jacob could have hoped for, and because the offer came out of the blue, he was more than a little stunned. But with a heart full of excitement and gratitude, he accepted the coach's offer. The years of hard work, resilience, and most importantly of all, Mary's unwavering support had paid off. Playing for the new team really was the pinnacle of what Jacob could have ever hoped to achieve. The playing at this level was first rate, and he faced many new challenges on the court, but he never lost his composure or lost his love for the game. While he wanted to win the games he played, he knew that his journey was about more than just basketball. It was about strength, perseverance, and how love would always win over hate. This was an important and life-changing truth that he had learned from his mother. But Jacob also became a symbol of hope, unity, and overcoming adversity. The close-minded people who had once laughed or made racist comments were silent. They knew they had wrongly judged the boy and his mother, and Jacob hoped that they had learned their lesson. Of course, Mary couldn't have been prouder of her son. She had watched him grow and flourish into not only the sporting superstar, but also the symbol of hope. And every day she loved him more and more. But this story didn't end there. No, there was one more twist to the tale. You see, Jacob had always wanted to repay Mary in some way. She had always been there for him, supporting him, pushing him, and helping him find his way. She had picked him up when he was down, gave him the strength to carry on, and accepted him when no one else would. Mary was the reason that Jacob was there at all, and he needed to show his mother how appreciative he was of her and everything she had done for him. That's why 20 years later, Jacob publicly announced the establishment of a brand new scholarship, one that would support underprivileged children with a passion for sports. There, children could go and receive the same kind of help, assistance, and encouragement that Jacob had received, in hopes that they too can achieve their dreams and fulfill their passions. And the scholarship would be named after his mother, Mary, because Jacob couldn't think of a more appropriate guardian angel for kids that needed nothing more than love and help, just as he once did. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? Have you ever had someone push you and inspire you to do great things? And how would you have felt if Jacob was your son, catapulted into fame and glory? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.